As schools continue to work out their plans for the fall, the fate of high school athletics remains unsure as well. The New York State Public Health High School Athletic Association's COVID Task Force held its second meeting on Tuesday. The group met to discuss six different scenarios for education in which high school sports would be affected, including two that would lead to no sports in the fall. Robert Zayas is the, at the forefront of these discussions and says that they are still waiting on further guidance from the governor's office and state education department. For now, Zayas says it's better to be prepared for everything than to be caught off guard. If the guidance stipulates that only low-risk sports can be played in the fall, then we could potentially have a scenario to implement. If the guidance says no interscholastic athletics can be held in the fall, then we could have a scenario to go ahead and rely upon. But until we receive the guidance from the governor's office and the state education department, we really just have to continue to finalize our scenarios and our proposals and be patient. As far as the summer goes, Zayas also mentioned that even with certain parts of the state currently being in phase four, the governor's office has yet to give clearance for organized workouts on school properties at this time.